nearing his... Mm, he's kind of nearing his completion. He's got a number of things left. But I wanted to show what's underneath his structure. And then we're going to just do a little test programming of this guy. Um, let me just... Let me turn him on. His eyes light up. So you should be able to see. He's supposed to be kind of spooky. He is for... Um, a spooky show, but this is what's underneath his skin. So you can see his eye mechanisms here. He's got full blink, left, right, up, down eyes. He's got slatted jaw. Hi, Hector. How are you? Um, and then he's got head left and right. So I'm going to go ahead and what I want to do is just do some like test programming. I also, I'm going to put I'm gonna put his like sister right here. She can just, she can hang out there for a second. There we go. Um, oh, but he might actually wear a top hat during the show. Not fully decided. I kind of like how it sits on his head, like at, at the side. I think he looks good like that. I kind of like it. What do you think, Hector? Um, all right, so I had test programming already programmed into this dude but I accidentally hit <laughs> record on his circuit board and things went awry and I wrote over his show test. So I need to program a new one. Um, we're not gonna make it a really long one though, but you guys will kind of get to see just a really quick kind of down and dirty analog way to program. So, all right, we're gonna start with channel one. Let's see here. So he will probably, jump a little bit all right so that's his eyes open close okay let's kind of get a little bit closer here there we go actually i feel like i need to bring you guys up a little bit there we go that's kind of the angle kind of a bit more the angle he's meant to be seen at so that's his blink so he's got full that's wide eye Kind of semi semi closed, and then that's fully closed. So the inside is painted, but I might get another coat because it's a little reflective. So we're kind of just going to experiment with that for right now. But all right, so let's just go ahead and we're going to hit record. I'm just going to kind of do some eye movements. And then what you're going to see is like over time, these movements will get added to each other. So whatever I record on his eyes right now, will play back when we go to his next movement. So right now we're just doing eye blink. And then just kind of do a little squint. Surprised. We're going to do one, two, three and that's going to signal to us that the program's over and record so all right now we're going to hit next and we're going to go to channel two which it'll be a surprise it's either left or right or up or down for his eyeballs i'm not i'm not fully sure which one it is but we're about to find out here we go in three two one and let's hit record and so Ah, okay, so it's up and down. There we go. So we've got a little up and down movement. So you'll see it's actually pl playing back, though, his uh, blinking that we had just programmed. That's pretty cool. Actually, the eyes lit up is looking really nice. That movement very subtly like really adds a lot to the character. Okay, so there's our three blinks. So that tells us to go back to the center and the recording is over. So now we're gonna go to one, two, three, and I'm gonna plug in um, movement number three and we'll find out what that is. I'm pretty sure that that has to be left and right. So if movement two was up and down, that should be left and right. So one, two, three. Yeah, let's see, here, here we go. Let's 
Yeah, so that's left and right. I think there's something actually maybe blocking one of his servos inside. I'm not really sure. But I'm hearing like kind of like an odd hearing an odd sound, kind of like they're stuck on something. Let me see here. I'm going to kind of look. I think whatever it was moved, actually. All right, and that was our three blinks to go back to home. All right, so now we're going to move on to movement one, two, three, four. And I think four um, is head left and right, I'm pretty sure. But it could be wrong. It's, it's kind of going to just be... A surprise. Here we go. I'm kind of like untangling his wires as I do this. He's like... There we go. So that is left and right. All right, so that's where we're going to start. So we're on four. So now we're going to do head left, right. So it's going to play back everything that we already, already had recorded. The only thing I don't like about this character is unfortunately like as he kind of looks away, you don't really see his eyes as much. Um, Cause his eyes are really far set back, but it's kind of a first pass at a humanoid animatronic. I haven't really done a, a human before. I tend to do like a lot of creatures like birds and animals and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. He's supposed to be like a decapitated zombie head, so. All right, and that is back to the beginning. All right, here we go. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. So now we're gonna program movement number five. So this is a super analog version of programming. I'm just using a circuit board with a potentiometer on it. And basically whatever I put into to the potentiometer will move, will move his, um, It'll move his movements. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and hit, we're on five, we're gonna hit record. There we go. Da, well, hello there. My name is Leonardo, but all my friends call me Leo. Andre, how are you doing today? I'm great, Leo, how about you? Extraordinary. And I must confess, I am quite excited. The Tronics and I are working on a brilliant breakthrough. We are about to make history in Halloween creations. Uh, all right, let's see here. So he's got a pretty big, pretty big jaw movement. Uh, it's pretty fast. All right, there we go. So we're going to bring it back to center. So center, for, unfortunately for him, is mouth pretty much gaping open. Um... His mustache is funny, right? I, I kind of like him in this position. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to go on to, I believe his eyebrows is last. Um, so this is his last movement. And these are not... Oh, hold on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. 